I realised that I didn't film an intro for this video, so hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Niche Rogers here. If you're new here, I basically post fashion, lifestyle and beauty content. So, as you can tell by today's title, we're going to be talking about my experience going to an all-girl school. This video is very much all over the place, but that's pretty much me. So, sit tight and just listen to me talk. I promise there are some good points that I've made, and it's just me sharing my experiences. So, let me know down in the comment section below what other videos you'd like to see me post. But, like, let's not waste any more time and let's get on into the video. If you're not from London, then basically the way the school system works is when you turn... 11 you switch over to your secondary school which is high school to americans i think well anyways so that there was like this one school that everyone from my primary school went to and that's the one that i wanted to go to because obviously you're going to want to follow your friends and like familiar people and i'm a very shy person even though it doesn't really come across but i feel like i've kind of grown out of it like i try push myself more but back then it was so hard for me and I was like oh my gosh I don't know what I'm gonna do but my mum didn't want me to go to that school because my mum's very much I want you to go to like a good school based on like grades and stuff like that and that wasn't known it didn't have like the best reputation and the people that went there didn't necessarily perform well academically so the only other school left was for me to go to an all-girls school and I didn't mind it because I used to go stagecoach and my stagecoach was based at that school. So I was like, oh my gosh, like that's fine. I'll be familiar. I already know my way around the place and whatnot. So anyways, starting, I think it was only me and two other girls from my primary school that went there. Like I didn't have a massive primary school. Like there was seven boys and like 30 girls. Okay, not 30 girls, like 28 girls maybe, something like that. But yeah, so I wasn't in a massive primary school, so there wasn't that many people. Anyway, so obviously going from primary school where there's a mix of you and there's like boys and girls, but I feel like already from primary school, there wasn't that many boys. So it's not even like I had many male friendships or whatever, but like I wasn't really awkward with men because I went to school with boys. Anyways, fast forward. So now we're settling in school and everything. And then like we get on buses to go home and like there's obviously boys from the boys school that was near my school and then it's like very awkward because it's like you don't know how to speak to them like even give me a sec i can't multitask like i can't do my makeup and talk okay yeah so as i was saying i still don't know how to really speak to boys like i feel very uncomfortable well not very uncomfortable in like a weird way but like just in a this is a very foreign situation to me type way so um when it got to the age where obviously like people were starting to have like crushes and everything and then obviously snapchat was like on the rise because this was like 2015 i want to say like 2016 let's say so obviously snapchat was in its prime and everyone's adding on snap and they're doing like shout outs for shout outs so now like i get um boys on my phone and then there's like boys that want to be in a relationship with me and i'm thinking oh my gosh how on earth do i speak to boys and i remember like people were getting into relationships back then like we were so young we were probably like 12 and fun fact i've never been in a relationship and we'll get onto that later in the video but yeah like it was just so hard for me to talk to boys and then when they would come there come a time where there's another all boys school that was like in our area but like it wasn't as close as the other boys school so sometimes they'd come down because we were like social media friends and like we'll meet up like after school or whatever and like some of us lived kind of close so would go the same way home together and even that was so awkward like there'll just be moments of silence and uh, silences and i know they probably felt weird as well because it's like when you're around like your own gender like the whole time yeah like 24 hours basically not 24 hours like can't think of the word but when you're around them constantly like you get used to them so it's like very weird having to like have a conversation with a girl because i posted a tiktok and a boy commented saying how he can relate because he goes to an all boys school as well and i feel like sometimes i forget how it probably affects boys as much as it affects girls that go to all girls schools it's going to be kind of all over the place because i can't do my makeup and talk for some reason like even when i'm around my friends like i have to we have to be listening to music or something or like a minimal conversation here and there because I will just get, I'll lose my train of thought. Anyway, so back to what I was saying, we'll kind of talk about what it was like in school. One of like the good things that I really like about going to an all girls school was that obviously you see those stages where you're like first starting out with makeup and like, let's say you're having like breakouts, your skin isn't that good or you're starting to gain weight, lose weight, whatever. 
going to an all girls school really did help with that because I struggled with my skin from like 14 years old, like out of nowhere, like I would just break up my forehead and I'd be like intense. And I feel like if I went to a mixed school, I would literally, I feel like the boys would get onto me because based off some of the stories that I would hear that girls say from their experiences going to a mixed school, I'm just like, oh my gosh, absolutely not. And then also like with the whole makeup thing, like when you're experimenting with makeup, obviously like girls, do tease and like when i look back at my makeup i'm thinking oh my gosh like i remember there was a time where me and my friends were out and we were going like to get to some dessert place and um my friend must have been like she said something about my eyebrows and i remember i literally wanted to cry on the tramp because i was like oh my gosh but um yeah like you don't really get like much of that i want to say but like i just feel like in a girl's school because it's coming from girls it's not really that harsh obviously it still is harsh but i feel like if a boy was to say something about like my makeup like my eyebrows let's take my friend's example i would actually cry and i'd want to go home and also like the older i got um <clears throat> oh my gosh my voice and i feel like also the older that i got the less i really cared about how i looked coming in school like obviously i've looked presentable but i just mean in the sense of i didn't feel like i needed to put makeup on or i didn't feel the need to um yeah it's mostly just the makeup thing because my hair was always done and obviously like i'd come in school uniform or clean and whatnot but it was more so like a makeup thing because i feel like if i did go to a mixed school i would 100 percent come in with makeup almost every single day and um my self-esteem oh this is another thing so going to an all-girls school there was a time where like you see where that whole catfish thing was going on they'd be like oh like girls that wear makeup or catfishes whatnot so that was all going on and when i look back i was like i literally look the same i feel like i look the same with and without makeup but obviously the way i do my makeup now i do put on a lot more products so obviously there's gonna be like a slight change when i take it on and off because it's more exaggerated with makeup i still feel like if you saw me walking down the road with no makeup on you'll be able to recognize it's me so back then like people would be like oh she's such a catfish blah 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 and that really hurt my self-esteem because when you're hearing girls saying that and then like these girls would also also say it to boys outside of school and like let's say they're social media friends as i was saying and they've never seen me in person they're going to be thinking oh my gosh this girl's a catfish so it really took me a long time to get out of that mentality of i'm a catfish and i look ugly without makeup because there'd be a time where if i was going out i would have to have makeup on i would have to have makeup on i remember i had to go to like my like local shopping place if you want to call it that to what was i going to do i think i was going to either buy something or pick up an order for my mum and it was like dark at this point it's probably like i don't know maybe like 5 p.m like during the winter so obviously the sun sets earlier and i literally put on a full face of makeup even though i was going to be out for like maybe an hour or less whereas now i can go to like university for example with no makeup on i can go out with no makeup on but i still struggle with the whole let's say i was going to go out for dinner i don't think i would ever go out for dinner with no makeup on like that is just a no from me i'd have to have some sort of makeup on but i feel like that is a huge step from where i was like considering that i would not be able to leave the house without makeup on and now i do feel comfortable but i feel like i still do struggle with um like guys oh we'll get into the whole boy talk in a minute but i feel like i still struggle with guys because i don't think let's say i liked someone romantically i don't think i would ever well eventually i would but i'd feel very insecure for them to see me without makeup just because like i feel like when people see you based off social media they really have an image of you created in their head and that's just not me and i don't want them thinking i look perfect 24 7 and even like still like let's say someone tells me i oh, look exactly the same with and without makeup i still deep down do think oh my gosh like, i feel like they're lying to me and they don't but yeah so if that's something you're struggling struggling with that does come with growth and no matter how many times people tell you oh my gosh you look exactly the same like it's still gonna hurt you in a way back to how going to an all-girl school like negatively affected me so we'll get into like the whole relationship thing because i don't want to drag this video out so um as i was saying like i couldn't talk to boys i still can't i don't even know what is like i just feel so uncomfy and i'm like even till now and that's partly one of the reasons why i haven't been in a relationship but just because one even the course i'm doing at uni is very much female like dominated is that even the right word like basically like there's a lot of um 
women in the course so um and also with it like because it's split between like campus learning and then like other stuff so i'm not really on campus anyways to even interact with other people so there's not really any chance for me to make male friends as such and i feel like when i do make male friendships they like me they end up like liking me like 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 liking me and like not in a friend way and then i just feel like that kind of ruins everything so that kind of affects me because now i'm just like i don't want to like talk to a guy and they think i'm being flirty when i'm actually trying to be their friend i don't know where i'm going with this but this video is going to be so jump starty with me because i don't even like i'm one of those people when i'm like mid-sentence i'll remember something else and then that's what i'll like go on to talk about but anyway so we're gonna go back to how like going to an all-girls school has like positively um affected me so i would say going to an all girl school has literally made me allowed me to make like really good friends that i don't even know i would have made it going to a mixed school like obviously everything happens for a reason that's literally like my mantra but yeah like my friends are so great like i'm still close with people that i made friends with when we were like 11 and this is like what oh my gosh eight years later no can't do it. nine years later and we're still friends like it's almost been a decade since i've been friends with these people and i do feel like um going to an all-girls school does really allow you to like place the emphasis on female friendships and understand the importance of having close female friends and also like with like women's empowerment and stuff like that like i'm not going to sit here and act like i'm the world's biggest feminist but um yeah it just kind of reassures you that yeah like you can really do whatever it is that you want in life and then obviously you have like female role models that will like come in i don't know about you guys at school but sometimes we'd have like female role models that would come into school to like speak about stuff or maybe i'm making that up maybe i'm thinking of something else but yeah i don't really know what else to add on to this video of how like going to an all girls school has affected me it's just mostly like the like my inability to kind of like talk to men and how i don't really have male friendships and i do want to make like genuine male friendships like i do have i would say i probably have like one solid male friendship and that's because the person's gay and i know they don't like me but um yeah i don't want this to go on to a tangent about like my love life because my love life is literally a mess it's non-existent and that's like another thing but like i'll get into that i'm gonna end this video here because i don't really know what else to add on i just feel like i'm going on and on about a tangent and there's like so many other things that i'm like going off into that i feel like could be that own video in itself so if you'd like to hear me like talking more about my own life so you guys can kind of get to know me better just let me know down in the comments but what's i gonna do oh my gosh i'm gonna sneeze hang on a minute um yeah but basically like my last piece of my last piece of advice for people going to like an all girls school or an all boys school is that like it eventually does get better like you just have to push yourself outside of your like comfort zone and if you feel like you're experiencing like bullying that you don't necessarily feel like you'd experience if you went to like a mixed school if you do go to the uk like i'm pretty you do have the opportunity hopefully to change into like um, a different sixth form at a completely different school and you can go to like a mixed one and that can like help you develop making like different type of friendships and also like kind of help you get over your fear of like talking to like guys or girls and then yeah also like literally it just takes time because even with me like a couple years ago could not speak to guys i still can't but we're working towards it but like eventually we do have to get married so we need to speed things up but yeah if you enjoyed this talk like no matter how disorientated it is let me know down below make sure you like comment subscribe and share and go watch my other videos and i'll see you soon bye